The Café du Chateau is a cold brew coffee maker that looks like a French press. It's completely airtight, and all parts are plastic-free. Instead, the materials are borosilicate glass, stainless steel, and silicone. To see if the Café du Chateau could live up to its fancy name, we put it through our cold brew coffee testing procedures. See for yourself how it performed. The Café du Chateau produced a medium-strength brew, while smooth to drink and well-filtered. It lacks complex flavor, and the aftertaste is not very rounded. After 18 hours of brewing, the Café du Chateau produced a noticeably weak bouquet despite a reasonable brew ratio of 1. Hey, the bouquet did, however, overall, there was very little complexity and sweet notes were indiscernible. Considering the brew ratio, we diluted the concentrate with one part water to one part coffee. The final serving was smooth to drink, but the aftertaste was neither rounded nor satisfying. It had a defined roasted and somewhat earthy flavor, but lacked character. Overall, the Café du Chateau produced an average to reasonably good brew, but it didn't excite. After allowing the concentrate to settle, we decanted the contents of the Café du Chateau. The filter, made of laser-cut 304 stainless steel, did a good job overall. There was not much sediment, and it was mostly fine with some powdery grains. All considered, the filter seemed not porous enough to produce a high-quality brew. The Café du Chateau is an attractive, durable product made from high-grade materials. There are no plastics whatsoever. The product arrived in the styrofoam jacket in the box. We were not so thrilled with the overall design. The brew decanter has the look and feel of a solid and durable product. However, on closer inspection, it's not without its flaws. For one, we found it a bit on the heavy side even when empty. We filled the decanter with water to test pour it, and it poured rather heavily. It also felt unbalanced, and the grip was somewhat slippery. The manual says the glass decanter can detach from the stainless steel sleeve, but it was difficult to do, so we left this for the cleaning stage. The filter is made from laser-cut 304 grade stainless steel and comes with a lifetime warranty. It appeared well machined, and the edges were not sharp. However, like the decanter lid, the silicone seal around the filter top was not such great quality. The filter, however, did allow for a relatively decent brew to develop and the sediment produced didn't require additional decanting. The materials used in, except for the silicone seals, are generally good quality. However, the design is not well executed. The brewer is all-round cumbersome to handle. The lid and seals are poorly designed, and it is weighted badly for pouring. Overall, this has been one of our least favorite cold coffee brewers to work with and will probably gather dust on the shelf. Like its design, brewing with the Café du Chateau has its unique points. No measuring is required because you just fill the filter with grounds to about 1 cm less than 1 slash 2 inch below the top. Then, you gradually pour water through the grounds but you don't push the filter completely in. The filter has an upper chamber which makes pouring water very easy. The filter itself is very fine so you must wait for water to seep through. The last 200 ml of water takes a little time to pour. Once the water is just below the 1 liter mark, you push the filter unit completely in and do the same for the lid. Despite the cumbersome design of the silicone seals, they do a pretty good job. Most air is completely compressed out of the brew decanter. All in all, the brewing method seemed very sound, and we look forward to the brewing results. We hope you found our in-depth review helpful and informative. Comment below if you have any questions about this review or explanation. Thanks for watching.